Look what we have here. Mobile. Yes. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another awesome unboxing, installation and review uh, of this amazing upgrade to our Dan Ram project truck, right? So before we continue, I want to make sure that you guys subscribe and like and share with your friends because there's a lot of content coming out and I can't wait to show you. This is what we are going to be installing today. Thank you to the guys at infotainment.com. I'm so excited because we finally got a hold to these, man, and I can't wait to install these. So these are the 2019 to 2021 factory. Okay, these are factory from directly from Mopar. Uh, the LED headlight upgrade kit for your halogens, right? If you have the halogen headlights on your RAM, these are the upgrade. And I know they're expensive. Yes, there's many other options out there. Yes, I know that. But stock is kind of like, not stock, but you know, that RAM Mopar thingy is kind of like important to me. So moving forward, these are the headlights we're going to be replacing. These are my factory halogens blacked out or blacked out housing uh, from my RAM. First thing, the harness. When you buy these through infotainment.com, it comes with this harness, the cables, the clips, uh, all the cables that you need with even a fuse to install these. Uh, some dielectric grease uh, for the connectors. Super, super cheap uh, pry tools from Amazon. Zip ties, because we need to zip ties uh, the harness to a post inside the truck. We'll show that later if we can. Uh, but yeah, this harness, very, very important. So the first thing we're gonna be installing also uh, is these RPM 956. Make sure you check them out on Facebook. Uh, Fred, he's awesome, great customer service, extremely fast shipping, very fast response. These guys are great and a great, great product. So what I'm gonna do with those is, you know, I have the headlights, right? So the fog lights are still halogen, but with RPM 956, thanks to Fred, I'm gonna be switching those halogens to LEDs. And man, these are bright. You know, I can't, I can't wait for you to see the, the comparison between the two, like between the halogen and the LEDs, and also between the LEDs and the actual headlights. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to install the fog lights, the upgrade LED light from RPM 956, is to remove the fender lining. Uh, super, super easy. Most of you guys have done this before. Just, you know, remove the fender, reach out, unplug the light, and replace it. But then, look at this. Wow, man. So, look how bright these are. And then I'm gonna tell you a secret. This fog lights, the fog lights, the light, the LED light bulb that I got from RPM 956 are the same ones for the low beams on your headlights. So basically, if you get these for the fog lights, uh, you also can get the same product for your low beams, the headlights. So if you don't want to spend $1,600 like I did, you can just switch this amazing product to your headlights and it will look great like believe me it will look great look at that look at the line led led in the bottom allergen in the top look at that <laughs> oh. so here's a different look and wow look at the difference between halogens and the brand new 956 rpm leds upgrade for your fog lights wow this looks great and sometimes I, I have to say sometimes you wonder how vehicles nowadays still come with halogens i mean it's a it's a safety issue you know driving through pitch black at night dark roads street highways 
man, like LEDs are much brighter. It's much safer to drive at night. Uh, so I know at some point in the future, all vehicles will come with LEDs. But of course, there's the look factor. <laughs> look how better they look. So this option is much, much cheaper. Instead of buying the factory OEM uh, fog lights, right? You can just go ahead and switch the light bulbs. It is a much, much, you know, uh, uh, cheaper option for you. So now we move on to the headlights. And the first thing that we need to remove is the upper part of the grill, this plastic cover. Man, there's like a thousand push pins. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, thankfully, I got that uh, for $5 on Amazon. I got those pry tools and I'm gonna be spending a while removing all these and try not to break every single one of them, but stay tuned. Well guys, this is the part that I screwed up. So this little camera, I thought it was recording. And then I have a couple of friends coming over to the garage to help me out with the, uh, with the removing of the grill. It was raining like crazy. It was like 30 degrees in Texas that day. And apparently the camera didn't record anything. I thought I was recording. Maybe it was the bourbons. Maybe it was the cold. But yeah, all the part is that we took apart the grill, the front grill, which it was a pain in the ass. It was a pain. That is not recorded. But I do have the final product. And I can't wait to show you. So stay tuned, because it's coming next. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.